Greetings, fellow explorers. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey through the ancient ruins of Pompeii, frozen in time by the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Get ready to witness the untold stories of daily life in one of the most captivating cities of the Roman Empire. This is Funny Scroll, and this is Pompeii Unearthed, Journey Through Time. Imagine walking through the cobbled streets of Pompeii, a city that thrived for centuries until that fateful day when everything changed. Today, we peel back the layers of history and bring you the secrets buried beneath the ash. Pompeii wasn't just a city. It was a living, breathing testament to the grandeur of Roman civilization. In this thriving metropolis, people went about their daily lives, trading, socializing, and indulging in the finer things. Join me as we step back in time and immerse ourselves in the vibrant pre-79 AD Pompeii. Picture this, the bustling city suddenly silenced by the roaring fury of the Vesuvius, the eruption that sent shockwaves through time, capturing Pompeii in a horrifying embrace. What happened next would freeze this city in time, preserving its secrets for centuries. The only surviving eyewitness account of the event consists of two letters by Pliny the Younger, who was 17 at the time of the eruption, written to the historian Tacitus some 25 years after the event. Observing the first volcanic activity from Mycenaeum across the Bay of Naples from the volcano, approximately 29 kilometers away, Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger's uncle, launched a rescue fleet and went himself to the rescue of a personal friend. His nephew declined to join the party. One of the nephew's letters relates what he could discover from witnesses of his uncle's experiences. In a second letter, the younger Pliny details his own observations after the departure of his uncle. Pliny the Younger saw an extraordinarily dense cloud rising rapidly above the mountain, the appearance of which I cannot give you a more exact description of than by likening it to that of a pine tree, for it shot up to a great height in the form of a very tall trunk, which spread itself out at the top into a sort of branches. A 2006 study by Zanella, Gurioli, Pereschi, and Lanza used the magnetic characteristics of over 200 samples of lithic, roof tile, and plaster fragments collected from pyroclastic deposits in and around Pompeii to estimate the equilibrium temperatures of the deposits. Fast forward to the 18th century, when Pompeii emerged from the ashes, archaeologists began uncovering the remarkably well-preserved artifacts, homes, and even bodies of the residents who faced the fury of Vesuvius. Join as we delve into the fascinating world of rediscovery. The key findings were jewelry, artworks, skeletons, and graffiti. Pompeii holds more than just ancient buildings. It's a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. From the preserved graffiti on the walls to the secrets hidden in the brothels, we uncover the lesser known stories that make Pompeii truly unique. As we wrap up our journey through the ancient city of Pompeii, reflect on the enduring legacy it leaves behind. This city frozen in time has not only provided us with a rare glimpse into the past, but has also shaped our understanding of the Roman world. Share in the comments your thoughts on this incredible journey. Thank you explorers for joining me on this unforgettable adventure through the streets of Pompeii. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more immersive historical explorations, and ring the bell to stay updated. Until next time, this is Funny Scroll, and this has been Pompeii Unearthed, Journey Through Time.